Hello students, this is your teacher. I hope you all are fine. So in our previous class, we did unit 12. And we did some exercises related to phonics, rhyming words and we made sentences also. Remember what, what is phonics? Yes, phonics are those words which have same sound. And what about rhyming words? Rhyming words are those words which have same ending sound. And what about sentences? Anybody knows? Do you remember? Good. So tell me. Okay, let me tell you. Sentences are small, small words you can combine together and you, may, you can make sentences. This is word book page number 83 and this is unit 12. Checkup time. Now, what is checkup time? In your previous class, whatever you did, what you learned, I will ask you about that. You see this picture. Do you know who is she? She is a doctor. Her name is Doc McStuffins. So, before starting this page, please don't forget to write the date on the top. So, now it's time for the checkup for Unit 12. So let's start. Question number one is dictation words. Now I will dictate you some words and you have to write it. Alright? Are you ready with your pencils? Great. Number one. Shouted. Number one is shouted. S-H-O-U-T-E-D. Shouted. See here in your textbook. We already did this part. So, Jacob is shouting. Why he is shouting? Because there are three wolves. See, one, two, three wolves are there. So, he was shouting that be careful. Shouted means loudly. You are saying something more loudly. You are speaking loudly. Number two, burger. B-U-R-G-E-R. -E I repeat, B-U-R-G-E-R. -E now, which one is your favorite burger? See, this girl is eating burger and she is worried also. She is sad because the ketchup is dropped on the shirt. She's having burger. So, now she's a little bit upset. So, this is burger and chips. Number three is curly. I repeat. Number three is curly. C-U-R-L-Y. Curly. C-U-R-L-Y. Curly. Now you can see this girl, the hair of this girl is curly. See? Wavy, wavy hairs. Not straight. Curly hairs. Are like this. I will show you the picture of curly hair, okay? Number four is wolves. Number four is wolves. W-O-L-V-E-S. Wolves. Number five is picture. Number five is picture. P-I-C-T-U-R-E. P-I-C-T-U-R-E. Picture. Dictation word number four is wolves. As you can see, there are one, two, three wolves are there. And number five dictation word is picture. You can see the picture. So this is the picture of Jacob, sheep and wolves. Uh, and you take pictures in your mobile phone also. Number six, mistake. M-I-S-T-A-K-E. I repeat, M-I-S-T-A-K-E, mistake. See in this picture, she by mistake dropped the ketchup. The tomato sauce, she by mistake dropped it. She didn't do on purpose. But this is the mistake. Doing something wrong is called mistake. But in your textbook, it is like, uh, remember that sentence, we use rubber to erase out our mistakes. 
if you did anything wrong if you write anything wrong suppose i am writing i am making a flower and i make little bad so i can easily rub with the help of the rubber with the help of the eraser i can rub the mistake number 7 is holiday h o l i d a y d h o l i d a y d holiday holiday now holiday means uh, a day with no work like on that day you can enjoy like see in the picture also they are on holidays they are enjoying their holidays like weekends are your holidays number 8 b e h i n d behind b e h i n d behind now see this this is the juice box now behind this this is the jug okay you see the difference this is in front this is the juice box now behind this juice box is the jug okay so question number 2 is rhyming words it's about rhyming words we already did the ex exercise before in textbook but i would like to ask you what are rhyming words can anybody tell me very good rhyming words are those words which have same ending sound for example dog rhyme with log why because their ending sounds are same og 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 so dog log n sound n sound here hen pen zip dip so their ending sounds are same that's why they rhyme with each other page number is 84 question number is 2 match the rhyming words now what are rhyming words now we all know rhyming words are those words which have same ending sound for example here shirt rhymes with hurt why because of the phonic letters see i r and u r make same phonic sound that is r sound and here also t is coming here also t is coming so they rhyme with each other although this is shirt which we wear and this is hurt like we say don't run fast you can hurt yourself okay so shirt hurt what about bean is it rhyme with wit bean wit bean c bean fur no bean silver no not at all bean green yes they both rhyme with each other because of the same ending sound they have see e a and here e e make same sound e sound that's why they rhyme with each other bean green now sometimes we say we are getting late wait see they both are different but why they are rhyming with each other because of the same ending sound number 4 is b is it rhyme with fur is it rhyme with silver no is b rhyme with c yes excellent e and e a make same sound e sound her her rhyme with silver no her rhyme with fur yes e r here and u r here make same sound that's why they rhyme with each other last one is river and river rhymes with silver see v e r is coming v e r is coming here also so ending sounds are same so they rhyme with each other river silver now we are starting our new topic students please concentrate 
it's a very important topic we are doing nouns in singular form and nouns in plural form okay so as we already did this in our school in our previous lesson we already finished nouns but i want to ask you that do you remember what are nouns excellent all naming words are called nouns i repeat all naming words are called nouns everything around us has names and it is easy for us to identify with the help of name of people person place or thing like if in a class there are so many student i can easily identify with the help of that student name okay she is sara she is sweza like that i can identify so naming something like things for example there are so many things so i can identify those things with the help of their names i can identify any place with the help of the place name okay i can identify any animal with the help of their names so nouns are all naming words we are naming okay a noun is a word that is used to name people animals things or places for example noun is a name of people places animals and things here anita is a noun noun is a name of people so anita is a noun forest forest is a noun noun is a name of places noun is a name of animals elephant is a noun noun is a name of thing so phone is a thing a noun is a word that is used to name people places animal or things all naming words are called nouns okay so students now we are doing nouns in singular form and plural form okay so let's get started singular noun noun in singular form a noun that names one person animal place or thing is called singular noun i repeat a noun that names one person animal place or thing is called singular noun singular means one okay one person one animal that talks about one place one thing that is called singular noun singular form okay if a noun that names one person that talks about only one person one animal one place or one thing that is called singular noun okay singular noun means singular form of noun okay a noun that comes or talks about one person one animal one place one thing as you can see in the picture only one person is here so this is singular form of noun okay one animal cow only one so this is singular form of noun only one place is here as you can see in the picture so that this is also singular form of noun a noun that names only one thing see only one stroller is here so this is also singular form of noun one thing okay example of singular form of nouns are 
a boy, one person, animal, one cat, a cat, place, house, one house, singular means one, thing is one flower. So after singular form of noun, we are doing plural form of noun. A noun that names more than one person, animal, place or thing is called a plural noun. I repeat, a noun that names more than one person, animal, place or thing is called plural noun. For example, down here you can see more than one. One person, two person are here. A noun that names more than one person. One, two persons are here. So this is plural form of noun. A noun that names more than one animal. See, two cows are here. One, two. So this is also Plural form of noun. See here, a noun that names more than one place. One and two places are here. So this is also plural form of noun. A noun that names more than one thing. See here, two bags are here students. Some examples of plural form of nouns are boys. See, one, two, three boys are here. So this is plural form of nouns. Next one is cats. One, two, three cats are here. So this is also plural form of nouns, animals. Okay, next one is Places, one house, two house, more than one. So, this is also plural form of nouns. Next one is, last one, flowers, things. How many flowers are here? One, two. Very good. So, this is also plural form of nouns. Now, students, here we are learning rules of S. I repeat, we are learning here rules of S. Now we all know, singular form is one and plural form is more than one. So if we want to make singular form one place, animal, thing, we, we want to make it plural form. We will add S. Okay? So this is very important. How we will do it? I will tell you. Now, for example, noun is the name of a person, teacher, place, house, animal, parrot, thing, bag. So, to make all these singular form of noun, plural, we are adding S in the end. Okay? So, number one is teacher. We are adding S to make it plural form of noun. Okay. Next one is parrot. We are adding S in the end to make them plural form of noun. Bag, a thing. We are adding S in the end to make it plural form. House, place. To make the house, plural means more than one house is, are here. So, we are adding S. Teacher will become teachers. Parrot will become parrots. Bag will become bags. House will become houses. All the singular form of noun by adding S here, it will be plural form of noun. Okay? 
So now students we are learning rules of ES. Okay, we already learned rule of S. Now we are learning about ES where we have to add ES. We have to add ES to noun that ends in CH, SH, O, S, double S, X and Z to get their plural form. If you want to make a singular form of noun into plural form of noun, what you will add? You will add ES. If these alphabets are coming, you will add ES to make a singular form of noun into plural form of noun. For example, I'll show you some example. Ostrich, singular form of noun. How we will make it plural form of noun? By adding ES because CH is coming. See, alphabet CH is coming. Here, so we are adding ES. So, ostrich single form will become plural. Ostriches, ostrich, ostriches, mangoes. Which alphabet is coming? O. So, we will add ES. And mango will become mangoes. Mango, mangoes. One, more than one. Next one is bus. Which alphabet is coming in the end? S. Correct. So what we will put in the end? By adding ES, this singular form of noun will become plural form of noun. Bus, buses. What are irregular nouns? I repeat, what are irregular nouns? Nouns that do not form plural in the usual way means they don't follow the rules. They have different rule. Like in usually in singular form of noun, we add S in the end or we add ES in the end of the word to make them plural. See, irregular nouns. They don't follow rules of adding S or ES. Okay, you cannot put S or ES in the end of the word and you can change the single form into plural form. No, they have some different rules, completely different rules. Okay, for example, so we are doing irregular plural. In some cases, a few singular noun form their plural by changing the inside vowel or vowels. Okay, they change their inside vowel. What are vowels or vowels? Vowels, there are five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So, they change their inside vowels. For example, I will show you men, M, A, N, men will become men. See, they are changing inside vowel. A is changing into E. So, men will become men. Okay? Another example is tooth. Tooth is changing into teeth. A tooth. One. Yes, singular. Teeth. More than one. See, so many. Here also, foot. Vowel O is coming. Alphabet O is coming here and it's changing into E. Foot. Feet, goose, geese. See, they are changing their inside vowels. Now, here are another example of irregular plural. Adding en in the end. 
so child become children the spelling will be c h i l d r e n children ox become oxen child children ox oxen singular form plural form and they are called irregular plural why because they are not ending with s or es i am not saying that these rules are apply on all but in this way you can memorize them there are different rules you will learn it gradually okay students page number is 84 question number is 3 plural now what are plural one thing we will say singular like this this is singular and for more than one thing two things this is plural singular plural singular plural so you know now noun is a name of a person place thing so for single noun person place thing we we will say singular and for more than one thing means this is one thing and more than one thing this is plural question number 3 verb book page number 84 let's start our exercise number 1 mouse now mouse irregular plural because the spelling is changing completely mouse mice m i c e as you can see irregular plural next one is child here we are adding en rule remember i told you so child singular form of noun plural form of noun children both are irregular plural because they are not ending with s or es the spelling here also and here also is changing completely okay number 3 tooth teeth tooth teeth this is also irregular plural a few singular noun they change their inside vowel c alphabet o vowel It's changing into e tooth teeth foot feet here also you can see this noun is changing inside vowel okay alphabet o vowel is changing into alphabet e vowel okay so this is also irregular plural foot feet last one is boy boys a singular noun is changing into plural form of noun boy will become boys see in this picture as you can see irregular a foot singular form of noun one one foot more than one plural form of noun feet irregular noun see why because some of the irregular noun they change their inside vowel see here foot become feet now here this is also a uh, irregular plural because the plural form is changing completely it is not ending by putting s or es see so they are called irregular plural here also tooth a tooth one teeth so many singular form of noun plural form of noun tooth teeth 
they are changing inside vowel child children here en by adding en a singular form of noun is changing into plural form of noun but they are irregular plural tooth teeth child children page number is 85 question number 4 is use the word from the box to complete the sentences now here is a help box and you have to choose the correct answer from this help box and you have to write the blanks so let's start question number 4 use the words from the box to complete the sentences now we already did this exercise in our textbook but if anybody knows about sentences can you please tell me good how we make sentences by combining small small word we is one word uses one word spoon to eat food so we combine all the small words together to make a sentence so here is the help box knife spoon pens rubber phones and you have to fill in the blanks so number one is we use spoon to eat food we use spoon to eat food so cut this one and write here spoon we use dash to talk to people how we talk with phones very good number three we use pens to write letters we need so many pens if you want to write so many letters you need pens so cut pens from here and write it in the blank number four we use knives to cut food now as i told you before also that knives are really dangerous so be careful while using it knives you have to write and you have to cut from the help box last one is number five we use dash to rub out any mistakes if you did any mistakes you can either use eraser rubber so rubber you can cut from here and you can write the answer so by combining all the small words together we can make sentences okay so concluding our class today we did dictation words rhyming words singular plural sentences verbal page number 83 to 85 this is end of unit 12 so please learn at home revise at home Okay, stay safe, take care of yourself, have a great day.